Hello students, today I will discuss a different topic and this topic is tortuosity of arteries. You know in our body there are different tortuous arteries in different parts of the body and this tortuosity may occur in different pathological conditions and in some genetic disorders. But today I will give you some examples of arteries which are present in different parts and with their explanation on the basis of anatomical aspect. Let us discuss one by one. Number one, facial artery. You all know the facial artery is one of the important artery which supplies the mainly face region and in the neck region. And this artery is a branch of external cavity artery in the neck. Then it proceeds upwards and forwards over the different muscles of the pharynx, particularly the middle constrictor and over the mandible it reaches the face and runs on the side of the angle of the mouth and lateral side of the nose up to the medial angle of the eye. And on its course, it gives off so many branches in the neck like submental, glandular, tonsillar and ascending paradigm of which the submental artery is the largest branch. And in the face also, it gives off four branches, one is pre masseteric branch, then inferior labial, then superior labial and lateral nasal. Anyway, on its course, the artery is tortuous. The question may arise whether this artery is tortuous only in the neck or only in the face or it is tortuous throughout its extent. The answer is this artery is tortuous throughout its extent. Then reason is why it is tortuous in the neck. In the neck, this artery runs over the muscles of pharynx, particularly the middle constrictor. So, this artery or the tortuosity of the artery adapts itself to the movements of the pharynx. And in the face, in the face, it is running over the mandible and over the cheeks. So, in different facial expression, laughing, crying or some other movements of the face and cheek and mandible. So, the tortuosity of this artery, it adapts itself to the movements of the mandible then lips and the cheeks. So, this artery is tortuous, we know. Next is whether there are so many branches of facial artery, you know. Any of these branches, either in the neck or in the face, they are also tortuous or not? The answer is the inferior labial artery and superior labial artery, which are the branches of facial artery in the face, they are also tortuous. But the tortuosity is more in the superior labial artery than the tortuosity of inferior labial artery. Next tortuous artery, in the body is the splenic artery. Splenic artery is one of the important branches from the celiac trunk and rather it is the largest branch of the celiac trunk and it runs behind the posterior inferior surface of the stomach being a part of the stomach bed and reaches the uh, spleen through the hilum. And you may be surprised to know that the length of the artery it is 8 to 32 centimeters, but it is so tortuous while it is running from the celiac trunk to the spleen, it gives up so many branches like dorsal, pancreatic branch, arteria pancreatico magna, arteria pancreatico corda, posterior gastric artery in 40 percent cases, short gastric artery, left gastroepiphytic artery and while it enters into the high level of the spleen, before that it also gives two branches one uh, for the upper pole and one for the lower pole, arteria polaris superior and arteria polaris inferior. But the main trunk of the splenic artery is tortuous. Then the question is why this artery is tortuous? This artery, it regulates the flow of blood through the splenic artery towards the spleen in different metabolic activities of the life. So, it regulates the blood flow towards the spleen. And secondly, 
the spleen is a sub diaphragmatic organ so the spleen moves up and down with respiration so allow the movement of the spleen this artery it is tortuous to overcome the over stretching of the artery and some says that as it is behind the stomach the distension of the stomach also also uh, helps uh, some factor for the uh, cause of the tortuosity but it is not so important point the important points the earlier two next tortuous artery in the body is the uterine artery this artery is you know uh, it is the artery of the female but this tortuosity is mainly observed during pregnancy the height of the uterus it enlarges so the tortuosity it develops during pregnancy particularly to overcome the stretching and the branches of the uterine artery which enters into the uterine wall uterine muscle called the helicent arteries they are also tortuous next tortuous artery is a posterior inferior cerebellar artery which is the branch from the fourth part of the vertebral artery and the tortuosity of the artery due to to adapt itself the different movements of the neck like this so this artery also tortuous and next tortuous artery is the lingual artery lingual artery again it is a branch from the external carotid artery like that of facial artery and it the it is the main blood supply to the tongue from its origin it is having three parts from its origin up to the tongue in the first part it forms a loop near the greater corner of the hyoid bone then it runs over the constrictor of the pharynx then it reaches the tongue either in front or behind the hyoglossus muscle in its course also it is tortuous to adapt itself the movement of the hyoid bone and also movement of the pharynx because this artery also it runs over the middle constrictor next tortuous artery is the nutrient artery of the long bones the long bones having one nutrient foramen through which the nutrient artery enters into the bone so before entering into the uh, nutrient foramen this artery is tortuous to adapt itself during the movements of the bone or rather during the movements of the proximal and distal joints this artery is tortuous to overcome the stretching so there are different arteries in the body are tortuous and you must remember the facial artery then splenic artery then uterine artery lingual artery and posterior inferior cerebellar artery and also the nutrient artery of the bones so all these are some important nutrient arteries and their possible explanation on anatomical basis thank you very much i will come with the next video very shortly